Hello everybody, Top All with Left Hand and Knife Reviews, and today we have a review of the Civivi Shredder, model number C911A. This is an aftermarket review, as this knife is no longer available for purchase from retailers. Let's get right into it. The Civivi Shredder has a 3.75 inch blade in D2 steel running on bearings. The scales are made out of G10 and are affixed to stainless steel liners and the handle measures in right below five inches. At the time of this review, this knife is discontinued. And there is some question on whether reviews like this are needed in the knife community or not. If you have a comment one way or another, please leave it. We do wanna know that if we do pick up a knife on the secondary market, if you'd still like to see it reviewed. Next up, we're gonna put some items on the table as the actual dimensions of the knife will appear on the screen. First up, we have our Dixon Ticonderoga Pencil Unsharpened. Next up, we are going to have our Spyderco Paramilitary 2. And let's follow that off with the Shredder's big brother, the still available Vexer. I'm going to pull the Paramilitary 2 off, and I'm going to point out that the Vexer is really the Shredder's big brother. The handle shapes are incredibly similar, albeit a little bit different. Both of them have an opening hole as well as a flipper tab. And the blade shapes, similar, but not identical. If you are looking to purchase a Shredder and can't find one on the secondary market, the Vexer is a good option, and we do have a review of this knife up on the channel. Our experience while using this knife is that it is incredibly nice to use. The G10 has a really good texture to it. It has rounded edges, which gives it a nice hand feel. And the size of the handle really gives you enough room to hold the knife in quite a few ways. There's a nice little cutout here to choke up, as well as some really good jimping along the spine to really give you a firm and controlled grip. As I mentioned before, this knife can open with either the flipper tab incredibly consistently, or you can open it with the opening hole with either a flick or a simple thumb open, left or right-handed. This knife was very pleasant to carry for review. Let's take a look at what the Shredder succeeds at. This is a D2 blade, really good shape. This was an incredibly good uh, cutting tool. The grind up top comes to a really good point. And one of the issues that we had with the Vexer, this solved by really kind of grinding the top down very quickly so that the stock is much thinner. As with the Civivis we have reviewed, the finish on this knife is fantastic. For originally, I believe it was a $61 or $62 knife. This knife is incredibly well finished. Nothing feels rough or, or unfinished in any way. The action, even without oil, is absolutely fantastic. And it does make this nice little ting when you open it. Next up, let's talk about struggles. The Shredder did struggle with its size a little bit. This is a just under four inch blade, which is going to be illegal in some parts of the country and in some countries outside of the US. This is a knife that will turn heads if you open it in certain environments. So you do need to be mindful of that. And also on its struggles with size, this is a very long knife. It does op offer one option to kind of choke up on the knife, but the finger trail is a little bit small for my larger hands. And it does make me want to tend away from using it and either using a chef's knife grip or just doing a full back grip, which I really don't want to do because this is a lot of knife sticking out the front here. All right, let's talk about our points of note. Points of note are things that fall between successes and struggles, but we feel should be mentioned. The layered G10 is pretty nice. Um, this comes, if you can find it, in a blue and black layer G10 and a red and black layer G10, which has a really nice look to it. Mentioned it before, but the jimping on this knife is quite nice, and it is something that is missing on its uh, big brother, the Vexer. The opening hole in this is actually uh, one that I really enjoyed 
um, for flicking because there's this nice little kind of point that your finger rests in really well, which is kind of cool. The pocket clip is a deep carry pocket clip. And out of all the Civivis that we have reviewed to date, this was Larry's favorite. Now for everything that's left. The part of the review, we talk about everything left-handed. This is a flipper knife, which provides the exact same experience opening the knife for a left-handed individual as a right-handed individual. This is also true for the opening hole. This can be opened with your thumb, either left-handed or right-handed or spidey flicked open as well. This is a little bit different for a left-handed individual just due to the fact that the ramp on the left-handed side of the knife is a little bit smaller and the liner sticks up fairly high in this knife, which does impede getting in there just a little bit. But that triangle, that little point that I pointed out before, definitely allows you to get in a little bit easier. This liner lock is a good liner lock. Um, it sticks up a good amount, but not too much. So you're able to get your left hand in there pretty well and manipulate this knife one-handed while still being safe. You are able to push the flipper tab on top of your thumb, which is an added layer of safety for a left-handed individual. Pocket clip is able to be put on either the left or the right-handed side of the knife. Let's talk about our final conclusion and recommendations. We recommend this knife for somebody who's looking for a budget knife that has a great blade and is a really good EDC option. Our recommendation for this knife on a secondary market is that this is a really good pickup if you can get it for less than its original selling price in a condition. This is a D2 steel, so it is a non-stainless steel, so you do want to make sure you get some close-up pictures of the blade and know that you might get a couple of surprises around the pivot depending on how the previous owner, owner used the knife. As with this and other Civivis, the construction is fairly simple, so taking apart the knife and doing a little maintenance depending on the condition of the knife when you receive it is very simple. If you can get pictures of the screws to make sure they're not stripped out, that will definitely lead to a much more favorable experience if you have to do so. Overall, we really enjoyed carrying this knife, and if you're looking for a knife in this size, this is a really good pickup if you can find it for below MSRP on the secondary market. Thank you very much for joining us today. Be sure to subscribe for more great knife content. And if you'd like to see more reviews of knives purchased on the secondary market, leave a note down in the comments. We'll see you next time.